Ben Gordon mentioned that it's difficult to play press if you don't have corners. After nine practices, I mean, do you feel that the cornerbacks are the type of skill set where they can play I think, that consistently? I don't think that they're to that level yet. Um, I think that, uh, again, I think that uh, we've got guys that are capable of doing it. Um, the guy that jumps out, I mean, Kavari Russell, you can ask him to do anything in the world because um, he's physical, uh, he's, he's uh, confident, um, and he's very talented. Um, Cole Luke is a kid that can get there, um, but he's not quite there yet. So it's, it's, you know, it's just a matter of continuing to teach and develop. We haven't been a big press team. Um, so through this spring, it's just about getting the mechanics down. You know, and hopefully you think that in the summer that they get a little bit better, and then by August they understand what you're trying to get done and accomplished, and they're ready to roll by the, by the time the season starts. Do you think? Kalari said that after last year's Michigan game, you really challenged him mm -hmm. uh, in a way, and I mean, even mentioned to him that you're capable of being a draft choice after your junior year, which he kind of like first, you know, it didn't quite <laughs> ring with him, but he bought into it. And what, what was that challenge that you presented to him that he bought into? Um, you know, the challenge was just, you know, he, he, he didn't play up to his potential that game. Um, so I, I made a specific cut up for him um, just to point out and detail out, you know, the examples of what I was talking about. And then I actually made a cut up of what he did when he was a freshman and prior to the Michigan game. And so it was, it was kind of a good and bad. And this good should be you consistently all the time. Um, and this bad you should never want to put on tape, especially being here at Notre Dame, you know, the most marketable place. Um, in college football because you're on national TV every, every Saturday. Um, he, he bought into it, um, you know, and I just challenged him to be an elite player, you know, consistently. And there's not a wide receiver um, in the country, in my opinion, um, I've been doing this for 13 years, um, that, that he shouldn't be able to compete with. Not saying that he's going to win all those battles, but there's not a player in the country that he shouldn't be able to compete with. I mean, that's just how strongly I feel about him and what I've seen and, and the guys that I know that I've coached that are playing in the NFL. He's by far uh, NBA. On, um, the best from a talent level, so he's got all the tools. He's got all the tools, but the consistency and challenging him to be the best and be a leader, and he's got to work those those techniques and those tools on a daily basis. You know, he can't just go out there because he's a talented kid and expect for it to happen. So that was the challenge. You know, how consistent can you be?